Alright guys, today we are going to do three banned cards that I feel like should ha um, be, you know, coming back off the ban list. That's pretty much the only way to put it. <sighs> the criteria for this basically is that it has to be on the ban list for more than a year, and it has to be not so overpowering where it can be, you know, ball busting for every other Yu-Gi-Oh player. It has to make some sort of sense. And the first card we're going to do, which is kind of an oldie, but I was going through my ban, through my uh, bin of cards and sold it in it, and it's called Last Will. Now, for if any of you who don't know who this card is, it used to come in the really old starter decks that I have pretty much everybody who played Yu-Gi-Oh! back from like 2000, early 2001, had. Um, it's if a monster is on your side of the field was sent to the graveyard this turn, you can special summon a monster with attack 1500 points or less from your deck once during this turn, then shuffle your deck. Now, the card's good. It's like a generic searcher. We have a lot of generic searchers. And I don't think this should come back to three, but if you look at one, it's not a bad card that to let a lot of decks use. I mean, yes, it can be slightly abused, but there's nothing like overpowering about it that I feel like it refuses to come back off the ban list. Like, it, it's a very good card, but it's not amazing for this corn format, and no matter what deck it's in, it's not going to be like the deciding factor, and every deck would have access to it coming back to one. And it's an oldie, and it hasn't been played in years, and from what I remember, I don't know how long it's been banned for, but it's been banned for quite a while since I started playing again, and I don't really see the reason why it should still be banned. I feel like it's a pointless ban for this current format. Well, should it be limited? Yes, I feel like it should at least stay to one. But banning doesn't make sense. So that's my number one. Take that off the ban, let's get it out here. Let's go. Now, a number one, another one that can be slightly abused with this card, but it also has a slightly similar effect that I feel like is overdue. It's been off the ban list for like at least two years, maybe a little bit more, maybe three, but I know it's definitely been two, is Sangin. Uh, say again, Sangin, whatever you want to call it. He should be off the ban list. Like, him or Witch of the Black Forest. We'll say a toss of a two, but it, Sangin or Witch of the Black Forest, opposite effects, whatever you guys decide. I think Sangin, though. Sangin should come back. Tour guys at one now. Doesn't really matter. So you can't really abuse him with Tour Guide. I mean, you can, but you can't. And his effect is good, but it's not amazing. If you take him to one and everybody able to play him, it's not going to make a huge impact on performance of the deck. And for whatever deck is still trying to use Rescue Rabbit when that's at one, that's for another video. Rescue Rabbit, you can be searched out, so it has a somewhat more of a chance to have an, a deck that's not somewhat generic. So, Sangin, its card effect is okay. Similar to Last Will, but Last Will is a spell card. I feel like it won't hurt the game. It's not game-breaking to have everybody have a generic search with Sangin or Last Will, and I feel like that's completely okay. Okay, okay, okay. Plus, nobody will even notice that it was even there, really, honestly. I'm just saying, no one's going to really care. But, hey, that's just me. It's just me. Now, for the third card that I feel like will make maybe a more, definitely more impact than the other two. Don't get me wrong. But it definitely is not a big deal still, and I feel like the deck has been needing it. It's six Sams to get Gateway back. Now, not Gateway to 3, Gateway to 1. Because when Gateway was at 1 before, 6 Sams weren't really doing anything as it is. They were, I think they topped some once in a while, you'd see one top, but it wasn't like topping like crazy, and it was only had Gateway at 1. And yes, there was a thing called opening with Gateway, and then it's like win. And you know what, there are tons of decks like that now. And with a lot of the current meta decks, I don't feel like 6 Sams with Gateway at 1 is a big deal. Shein, having Shein at 2 didn't do shit. Having Gateway at 1, while it will up it a little bit, comparatively to the decks we have, it is not a big deal. And I know there's a lot of other cards that we could deserve to get off the ban list, and I am somewhat biased because I'm a 6 Sam fan. I feel like it should come back to some degree, and that some degree would be 1. And yes, people might play it more often, but I don't think it would make any some big impact on the meta to any degree. You, like you said, you might see a rogue top, but it's not going to be, like, crazy. And it will just give them a little bit more fighting force, because right now they don't have much of anything, and having given a deck a little bit of an oomph like they have with other decks, heroes. And I don't think giving 6 Sam more support is needed, because they have the support, it's just banned, so I feel like just giving them one is fine. I mean, they've given Blackwing support, they've given Heroes the support, so don't make 6 Sam support just unban one card to one. And that's all I ask, and it'll make them fine, playable. I'm not trying to make it meta, I'm just trying to make it a little bit more consistent, a little bit better, and a lot more fun. Uh, so the, guys, those are the three banned cards that I would take off the ban list if I could right now, this second, that I think wouldn't make that impact on a game. There's a few other cards you picked too. Let me know down below what cards you would pick that you think would make a big impact. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace!